angels it is a new day here on daily Haley. it is snowing so peacefully right now it is such a nice snowy day however we are about to venture out into that snow into the car and head out on a little shopping spree and i don't know how peaceful and lovely it's going to be when we get out there on the agenda today we are heading to ikea I need to pick up those floating shelves for my room and probably a couple of other items as well. And I'm picking up a new wallet that I purchased, so I will show you guys that as well. And then I need to do a little bit of Christmas shopping because like I said, my dad and Steve, which is his husband, my stepdad, are coming into town on Saturday. So they need their Christmas gifts. So we are going to head out. We have a lot on the agenda for today. I'm really excited and you guys get to come along with me. So let's head on out and get this vlog started. Oh my goodness, you guys. Whenever Ace knows that we're leaving, he makes himself so cozy. Look at him right now. He's about to watch some Family Guy. <laughs> I'll see you soon, pumpkin. You guys, we just drove past this neighborhood where I don't know if you guys have ever seen Christmas with the Cranks, but you know how they have that frost that the whole neighborhood has to have? Well, this neighborhood seems to have a giant snowman that everyone has to have you guys first of all down there too look at this you guys everybody has this giant snowman like is it just a requirement when you join the neighborhood you guys this is the craziest thing I've ever seen like they're big and like these are no joke look at it. this guy has one on his roof you guys look down there this one's dead oh my goodness what the heck? Like, who organized this? How did it happen? Look, this part of the neighborhood's the jolliest of all. We need to have a Santa. Like, every single house just needs to have a Santa down here. What in the heck is occurring? Wild. So I just went and picked up my new wallet. I'll show you guys the wallet when I get back to the house because I just want to show you it there but we are en route to Ikea. We're about a half an hour away from Ikea. It's a little further from here than I thought it was. Completely my mistake, but that's all right. So we're heading to Ikea now. I have a gift card from, I don't know if you guys remember, but Ikea like messed everything up. I initially ordered my couch from them when I moved into my condo last year, but they messed everything up. I ended up telling them, come pick this couch up. I want nothing to do with it and ordered my couch from Leon's and it's amazing and the best decision I made. But they gave me like a bunch of little gift cards of like $50, $50, $50. And I have so many of them that I've lost somewhere in my apartment. But I just so happened to find one a couple of days ago. So I'm bringing that with me. And I'm going to pick up the things that I need from Ikea. But then I think we're actually going to head to Sherway Gardens, which is a mall that's close to Ikea as well. Um, so I can get a little bit more of my Christmas shopping done. Every time I've went to go Christmas shopping, I've just shopped for myself. So this time I am not shopping for myself and I'm gonna go in there knowing kind of with an idea what I need to get for people. So that's the plan. That is what we are doing. The snow is no longer beautiful and fluffy. It's just like a gloomy day out today. So yeah, it's a gloomy day today. We made it to Ikea. Let's get these shelves. Shameless promo for the hubby. So I know that I want one of these. They're playing bingo in here right now. I'm not kidding you guys. The employees are literally playing bingo, but I know that I want one of these shelves. I don't know what the difference between these two are, but we just came straight here because I already knew what I wanted. So Ikea was a success. I picked up a shelf and a handsome boyfriend. Lucky me. Uh, now we're gonna head to the mall. I think we're gonna get Chipotle when we get there. We'll see what ends up happening. But we are gonna get some Christmas shopping done, so fingers crossed I don't buy anything for myself. So we made a pit stop at Mercedes-Benz because, I don't know if you guys know this, my boyfriend drives a Mercedes-Benz <laughs> and he loves his car. It's a little sports car, two-seater, it's really nice. But lately he's been looking to upgrade his car and so he decided to bring me here so we could take a look at them all. And let's just say they have some really nice ones here. I do love Mercedes cars. They, I think they're really nice. I like his a lot. But right now, a Jeep is just more me. <laughs> but he definitely enjoys looking at these. We ended up spending a lot longer at the dealership than we imagined. We met a really good sales guy. He's definitely good at what he does. Definitely destined to be a car salesman. But 
hubby over here found a car that he super loves so we're gonna manifest that and getting that in the new year and then I told the guy that my dream 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 car like this is my dream car but then there's like always that thing that you have in the back of your head that's like that's an unbelievable not unattainable because I don't like to use that word but that type of a dream is a Mercedes G-Wagon and he proceeded to tell me that it is a two year wait time for one and then he brought me to the showroom to show me the new ones and it's just ridiculous it's so nice so not looking for it anytime soon but definitely keeping it in the back of my head for manifestation now we are reaching the mall as you guys can see we're gonna get that Christmas shopping done and then we're gonna get home to mr. AC boo because we miss him so that's the plan I'm super hungry I hope my boyfriend's hungry too are you hungry He's hungry. So, probably gonna get Chipotle and then get our shopping on. We made it to the mall. I got my usual veggie burrito bowl with a side of guac. I always get it. It's my absolute favorite. He's mixing it up. <laughs> and so we're gonna eat first and then we're gonna do shopping because nobody shops well when they're hangry. So, so far, every single store that I've went into, I have found things for myself. Didn't buy them though. Rather than finding things for other people. I have no idea what to get my stepsister, like literally zero clue. So that's, I know she wants clothes, but I always worry like that I'm not getting someone's style right or things that they're gonna like. But the hunt continues on. If I don't find anything today, there's still a bunch of days. Watch, watch we're gonna be out shopping on Christmas Eve. But, or not Christmas Eve, something like that. Anyways, we are walking, guys. Look how pretty this is. Look how pretty that is. So nice. So cute. So Canadian. I'm not having the world's best luck and honestly you guys, my right back wisdom tooth is peeking through and now I have a really bad earache and jaw ache. So that's fun, but I need to hit Apple because I just bought the new iPhone XS Max and it comes in in like two days. So I'm gonna pick up a case for that and then I gotta get my dad his gift card which I'm gonna give to him on Saturday. But other than that, I think it's gonna be a bust. We'll see. Okay, we got my dad his gift card, so that's good, he's done. I gotta get my stepdad his gift card. Actually, both my stepdads need gift cards. But right now, I am going to find Apple so I can get that phone case. I'll show you guys, it's just super basic. But I cannot be going around with my phone without a case. So, now we are on the hunt for the Apple store. So I'm back in the car, I got my dad's gift card, I got myself the new iPhone case that I wanted. It's just like the plain black silicone one I really like the feel of it it's a little expensive I didn't I mean I kind of realized but I was like wow that's quite a lot of money but my phone should be in the mail maybe by tomorrow or sat I don't know if they deliver on Saturdays but definitely within the next day or two so I didn't want to go without a case for it and I know that I'm not going to be able to wait as far as like starting to use it so I got the case which was really exciting and I didn't get anything for anybody else. I'm a really picky shopper when it comes to people's Christmas gifts. I want to get them something that I'm not just getting for the sake of giving a gift. I want it to be really thoughtful and something that I know they're going to really enjoy. So still a no from that. But I didn't buy myself anything other than the phone case, which I actually needed. So that's a positive. Now we're going to head home and see Mr. AC Bum. Why won't it focus? AC! Hi! Hi, my boy! I, oh, Daddy, close the door on you! Hi! Hi, baby! Hi, baby! Hi, baby! Oh! So this is my new wallet. I got it to match my bag. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited about it. It has eight card slots and so many components or compartments, not components, but it does have good components about it too. So I'm really happy about that. And, and then I also bought today the silicone iPhone XS Max case in just black. I gotta get a pop socket to match it. I'm gonna choose one of those soon, but I'm really happy about this. And now I just gotta wait for my new phone to come in. So I just got done filming two videos. I filmed one for my Patreon and one for my main channel, which is gonna be today's video. So it's currently 8.30 p.m. I have to edit the main channel video, get it up before midnight, have to edit the Patreon video, get it up, and then I have to edit this video and get it up. That is some serious commitment. I'm like, I'm going on vacation right after the new year if I can pull off the two videos a day for the whole month and then also pull off getting my Patreon three exclusive videos a week up and not miss them. I'm also doing a Patreon live stream tomorrow. It's just been a busy little week for me. Thank goodness 
for my agenda, my planner, getting me through and helping me to stay on track and make sure that I don't miss anything. So I just poured myself a glass of wine. I'm gonna have a little bit of wine while I edit these videos and get them all up. And that will officially be 12 videos in the last six days, not including my Patreon videos. So I am like a busy, busy bee. First video is done, it is 9.01. I'm very excited about that time frame considering it is a 17 minute long video. Second video is done. Oh boy, it is now 9.57. I'm about to upload to Patreon. Then I want to chit chat with you guys for about two minutes. I have a couple of things I want to share with you and then I'm going to edit this video and get it the heck up. Okay angels, so I have the other two videos done. I still have plenty of time to get this video up. It's definitely not going to be late, but I just wanted to take a moment to just be sappy and just tell you guys how excited, inspired, and appreciative I am for this channel. When I first created Daily Haley, I had this idea that I was going to create vlogs and they were going to be so much fun and it was just going to be amazing. And then when I realized like, wait, I can't make like these fun, crazy vlogs every day that people are going to be interested in and they're gonna be bored and they're not gonna tune in because I'm not gonna do that interesting of things every single day. And I kind of fell off the bandwagon because of my lack of, what's the word that I'm looking for? Not faith in myself, but belief that I could make it exciting. And then I remembered a time on YouTube years ago when I used to watch Trisha Paytas' vlog channel religiously. And she would not vlog every day because she thought that we didn't want to go to the mail room with her and we didn't want to go to Target or do laundry or just chill with her. And I was like, you're wrong. I want to see that. Like, this is a part of my life. I have anxiety. Like, this is what... I watch and so I've kind of applied that into this vlogmas here where I'm just uploading how the days are truly going and I'm not putting too much pressure on myself to make them exciting or make them extravagant or make them the most clickable just making them the most me which is what this channel is supposed to be about and I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys tuning in on this channel I appreciate you guys watching and enjoying and giving it a thumbs up and leaving your comments and engaging with me because I don't feel like everything I'm doing every single day is that exciting but bringing you guys along and you guys enjoying it so much makes me happier than you could ever know and I'm just truly enjoying and loving every single minute of vlogmas so far even though it's only day six so from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for changing my life in a million different ways but most of all just making me happier and bringing me so much joy and purpose each and every day you guys have changed my life in ways you'll never know and i'm so thankful for you so that is my sappy little speech i hope that you guys enjoy just coming along on my day of shenanigans and thank you again for absolutely everything i love you more than you could ever know until tomorrow i will miss you guys dearly and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video do all things with kindness in the meantime, and I love you guys so very much. Bye, guys. Cry, cry,